Hey guys, um, so this video is going to be a September favorites video, and I know I haven't done a favorites video because I've just been really using the same things basically, so, um, and there's a couple of new stuff too, so I just figured I would just do this video. Um, it's also a contest entry for anniversables, um, contest that she's having, um, for her September favorites, and she just wants to see everybody else's favorite, um, September favorites, so, yeah. So this is in no order, it's just random, I have everything in like this purple bin that I got at Staples for like 2 or 3 bucks. So yeah, I just put everything in this box so I don't have to scatter it everywhere. So it's just any random order. So the first thing I guess would be this brush that I just got from Coastal Scents that I use for my liquid foundation. And I used to use this one from Coastal Scents, but you can definitely tell the difference. Like, um, the white hairs are a lot shorter well a lot yeah it's not that much white hairs as opposed to this one has a lot more I don't know I just feel like this one um stipples that foundation on better and it um blends it out a lot better than this one does but I haven't really been using this one so I've definitely been using this new one that I just got and I'm definitely in love 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 with this brush and I think it was like um um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, estimated around eight bucks for this to this brush in Coastal Sun. And then another brush that I've been liking that I got also got from Coastal Sun um, recently was the um, well this brush it doesn't even have a name. Um, it's a pink brush, pretty dense, short bristles, and big. But I've been using this for my highlight colors under my brow, my brow bone and I do like it. This is like my favorite brush now for highlighting. I used to use Yeah, which one did I use? I used to use this one. I used to use this one for highlighting. But I don't know, I just feel like this one covers more area faster than this one does. Okay, and then next would have to be my um, new brown pencil brow pencil that I got from Maybelline. It's Maybelline Define Brow comes with a little comb at the end part of the pencil and it, this one is in dark brown and this is for dark brown to black eyebrows and I have obviously dark brown eyebrows um, and before I got this one I was using the NYX brow pencil and that one I feel was giving me too much of a red tone to my eyebrows and this one's more my color the only thing that I don't like about it is that you cannot bring it up too far up when you're doing your eyebrows you really have to get it oh and you can't twist it back down, which I did not know that. So now I have to be really gentle with when I use this. I didn't even know you couldn't bring this back down. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, you learn new things every day, right? Okay, so another thing that I've been loving for a while now, and I know you guys know this already, I've been using this for a really, really long time. And this is the Complexion Perfection from e.l.f. Um, I use this every day over my foundation. Um, like, as soon as I finish my foundation, I use this. Um, I noticed that if I use it with this brush, it does make me look a lot pale. So my brothers told me. So I started using it with just my um, foundation brush. Like, right after I use my foundation, I wipe it off. And then I just swirl it into the swirl it into the Complexion Perfection and just swirl it around my face. And it doesn't give me so much of a pale look. And another thing that I've been really liking lately is um, this Wet n Wild palette in Vanity, 224 Vanity, oh, 224, 249 Vanity. Um, and I know that people have this thing where they're like, the applicators that come in the palette, the little sponge tip applicators, nobody wants to use them. But to be honest with you, I think they're good for packing color on the lid. So that's what I've definitely been using this for, is just to pack the main color on my lid. And I think it does a really good job for that. Yeah. So it does a really good job for that. Um, my favorite, all-time favorite highlight has to be this highlight right here. Let me just... This is like my favorite. It's a shimmery highlight. This is my favorite highlight of all, all, all time. Like I've been using this all the time. Like I have it on right now today. Like I use this every single day, this palette. Um, another 
favorite of mine would have to be the Maybelline Impact Express Smooth Felt Liner. Um, it's just a liquid liner pen. Um, I've been using this lately. Um, I used it today for my eyeliner. Um, it's a good eyeliner. It has good precision. Um, it's easy to use. Um, the only downfall that I can say about this eyeliner is that taking it off is a biatch. Another quad um, that I've been liking is the Maybelline Eye Studio Quad in Sunset Seduction. Um, this is my sister's quad. She just sent it to me. And um, I put it on today. And I really like it for like an everyday look. I'm not crazy about the highlight color. I feel like it doesn't show up as much. Like I, I so I used the three main colors, one, two, and three main colors from this quad today, and then I just used the highlight color from the vanity quad. I mean the vanity palette. But it's a really great quad. I she lent me two more, so I'm planning to do like tutorials on the other two. And if you guys want a tutorial on this look, just let me know. It's just an everyday, normal, neutral look. Um, I've been recently using, um, because I ran out of my Maybelline Colossal Mascara, so I started using my, um, L'Oreal, uh, Collagen Mascara, and I do really like this mascara. It doesn't give, like, length, but it does give volume to your eyelashes, um, and I don't know if you guys can notice my eyelashes right now. You probably can't, but they do give a lot of volume to the lashes, and I do really like this, um, mascara and I will plan on getting another one and I have to pick up a Maybelline Colossal too because that was like my all time favorite because it gave length and volume okay so another thing that I've been oh another brush okay this brush is from Eco's Tools um it's supposed to be an all over eyeshadow brush but it's more of a blending brush like the way that it's shaped is dense and fluffy at the same time it's really really soft um, this came in a traveling set with this brush, um, and like three other brushes that I can't find out right now. Oh, and a kabuki brush. But it is a really good brush. It blends the color very well. Like, I use this all the time as opposed to my, um, Makeup Geek blending brush, because I feel like it's too, like, I don't know, it's pointy at the top, and it's too, like, I don't know. You can see how it just stands, and this one's not so. This one's more fluffier than this one, and this one's smaller than this one. And I have big eyes, so this would definitely work better for me. Um, people with smaller eyes, I think, could definitely work with this one. And this one was only. I can't even tell you what price it was, but I'll put it at the bottom once I find out what, what price it was. But this one I got at makeupgeek.com. Um, she's also a guru here on YouTube, and she has a um, store that she sells NYX, MAC pigment samples. Um, mag paint pot samples. I think she's out of them though. But yeah, she sells a lot of great stuff. Mostly NYX. And I love NYX. Which is the next thing that I'm going to show you. My other favorite has been my NYX Cream Blush in Natural. I've been using this every day throughout the whole summer. And I'm probably going to use it for the rest of the year. Now, I like this blush because it just gives me a nice um, blush of color on my cheeks. And it's a good base to put my powder blushes on top. And I use this today, obviously, because I use it every day. And I use this under my e.l.f. Studio Blush in Tickle Pink. Yeah, it's a really great blush. This is, um, like, six bucks, I think, on Cherry Culture. And then I think it's, like, eight on NYX.com. Um, and then for under eye circles, I've been using my CoverGirl Invisible concealer and I am in fair. Now I'm not going to say this is the best um, under eye concealer. I was using the NYX concealer in a jar. Um, I didn't like it too much because it was like caking under my eyes too much. But this one has been working for me. I'm not going to say it's the best one because I haven't really tried any other ones. But for me this is a good one. Um, now for lip stuff. Um, my EOS lip balm in Ooh, what is this? Summer fruit? Yeah. I love it. This is the way it smells. It has a really sweet, nice taste. Um, it's moisturizing. I think this is a really good um, balm, so I think you should definitely pick this up. I got this at Walgreens. They have it in Rite Aid. Um, I'm not sure about Walmart or CVS. 
yeah, the only places I found it was Walmart, Walgreens, and Rite Aid. Um, okay, for everyday lip stuff that I've been using for the month of September, August, June, July, every day has been um, my Nicely Nude from the e.l.f. Mineral line. And this was a $5 lipstick. I had to depot it into this little Coastal Sense jar because um, it broke on me. It was like, I don't know. Once I opened it, it just flopped over and broke. So I had to depot it in here. But I use this every day. Um, this is more like a My Lips But Better color. Um, like you can't really see it, but it just, I don't know, it just makes my lips better than what they really are. Like, the color is nicer, it gives me a nice, it's a smooth application, and I think depotting it is a really good thing, too, because I feel like you get, um, as opposed to applying it with the lipstick directly, um, you can use, like, um, I use the, uh, e.l.f. concealer brush, because it's so small, and I use that to put it on, or just my finger, and just rub it in like a lip balm, and it works perfectly. And then I also like this, um, e.l.f. Oh, and this was five bucks. And then also I like the peaches um, lip pin thing, lipstick thing from Elf. It's uh from the Elements, yeah, it's the Elements line. And this one is in peaches. This is another my lips for better color. Um, I definitely use this every day. Also, well not every day. But if I'm not using this one, I'm using this one. These are really good. And on top of either one of these, and this is my last favorite. I've been using my NYX Round Lip Gloss in Sorbet, Sorbet, I don't know how to say that, Sorbet, I don't know, you know what I'm talking about, Sorbet, whatever. Um, yeah, so I've been using this, it's just a nude color, but it's a pink nude color, and it goes great over my two favorite, favorite, favorite lip products of all time. I've been using this every day, and this on top of it, and it has been awesome! But yeah, so that's everything for my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you enjoyed too, Anna. Um, so, uh, yeah, so if you guys have any favorites or any input on any of the favorites that I have in this video, um, what you think didn't work, what you think did work for you, just leave a comment below. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.